Welcome to the homework for lesson 20. This is module 4 of grade 1. Get your name on here first. And we're doing some more tape diagrams. Read, draw, and write is our process for solving word problems. And we're practicing tape diagrams, so all of our math pictures are going to be tape diagrams. And you can see in the example here, we're going to draw whenever we have a, a number that's larger than 10 we're gonna draw the first 10 a little bit differently just so we can see 10 and some more so and uh, labeling is gonna be the most important part of the tape diagram Rose has 12 soccer practices this month six practices are in the afternoon but the rest are in the morning. How many practices will be in the morning? So first I'm just going to draw the 12 practices that she has. I'll read the first sentence first. If you're never sure about what to draw, just read the first sentence, draw what it says there is. Rose has 12 soccer practices this month, so I'm going to draw 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Six are in the afternoon, but the rest are in the morning. So this is this whole thing, this whole piece of tape. She's not going to have more practices in the month, so I don't have to draw any more practices. But I know that the total from beginning to end, all of them, is 12. Uh, six are in the afternoon, so let's just say which six are they. Uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. There. So these are afternoon, and the rest have to be in the morning. How many practices are there in the morning? We just count them. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. A lot of times using the picture is really easy, but we do have to write a number sentence. So since this is, um, we could look at this and think of it as uh, two sixes put together to make a 12, but that's not really, doesn't really go with the story. This is really taking 12 apart into two sixes. So that's mean, that means take apart is subtraction. So we want to we want to write a subtraction sentence. 12 minus six equals six. Rose has six practices in the morning. And I can also label these six and six there. Ben caught 16 fish. He put some back in the lake. He brought home seven fish. How many fish did he put back in the lake? Okay, so uh, Ben caught 16 fish. And I'm going to draw the 16 fish. One. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There's a piece of tape. He doesn't catch any more fish later in the day, so there, I'm not going to draw any more fish than, the, than those 16. But some of these he brought home and some of them he put back in the lake. So I'm taking the 16 apart into two different, two different uh, kinds of fish, the ones he left behind in, in the lake and the ones that he brought home. So that's take apart, so that's going to be a subtraction sentence. So seven fish he brought home. Now, if you remember your parts of 10, you may not even have to count this because we're looking at 10, those are the, the empty circles. He brought home seven fish. Well, I know there's going to be three left. So I could just use my partners to 10 skills to know that that's going to be 7 out of that 10. And then this whole thing is going to be 16 fish. I can just count what's here. It's the 6 plus the 3 more, 9. And so let's label these. These are the seven fish he brought home, H, and these are the nine he left in the lake, L. This is taking a 16 apart into two smaller numbers. So we want to make a subtraction sentence, 16 minus the seven we knew about, 
equals the nine that we had counted to find out. So Ben put nine fish back in the lake. Nikhil solved nine problems on the first sprint. He solved 11 problems on the second sprint. How many problems did he solve on the two sprints? So here's where we have two different sprints and we want to know what they are put together. So that's going to be nine on the first sprint. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're going to put these together. So that's the nine on the first sprint. And then 11 more on the second sprint. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I'll label that 11 and S for second sprint. And we have 9 and 11. So there's this 10. Putting these together, addition, 9 plus 11. You can see the 9, these 9 here, let me fill them in. just because they're going to go together with that one over there to make a 10. Two tens make a 20. Nikhil solved 20 problems on the sprints. Shanika returned some books to the library. She had 16 books at first and she still has 13 books left. How many books did she return to the library? So, I mean, it helps that this is a really short story. It's only two sentences long. Think about what happened. Who's the main character? It's Shanika. What did she do? She brought some books back to the library. What do we know? Uh, we know how many books she had at first, and we know how many she kept, uh, but we have to find, what do we have to find out? We have to find out how many she brought back. So, let's draw the picture. 16 books at first. Um, and she doesn't get more books out of the library. She just takes books and puts them back and so we have we're going to take 16 apart into two different parts so we're not going to add more books we're just going to take the 16 and put it and take it apart so 16 books one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen That's all 16 of her books. Uh, she has 13 left. So I know that's going to be all of these 10 here. All of these 10 plus 3 more. So that's where I'm going to draw my line. So those are the ones that she has. Uh, this is These are the ones she has left. And these are the ones she returned. There's 3 of these. So there's 13 of those. And this is, uh, since we took 16 apart, it's a take apart, so we're subtracting from 16. And we took it apart. The 13 we knew she had left. And we could see that there were three that she returned to the library.